we know that an adjective is a describing word. It is used with a noun or a pronoun to add something to its meaning. For example, it is a cold day. Now in this sentence, the word cold is describing the noun day and giving us more information about it. Hence the word cold is an adjective here. Now let us read this sentence. We have enough food stocked in the refrigerator. Now in this sentence, enough is modifying the noun food and it is answering the question how much. So it is actually referring to a quantity. How much food? Enough food. So this word enough which is modifying the noun food and is referring to a quantity is an adjective and what kind of adjective is it? It is an adjective of quantity. So what is an adjective of quantity? An adjective of quantity describes the quantity of a noun or a pronoun and always answers the question how much. The dedicated students raised a large sum of money to help the poor children. Now this sentence has many adjectives. Dedicated students, poor children. Now dedicated and poor are adjectives of quality here. But when we say large sum, then large is an adjective, but it is referring to an adjective of quantity. It is answering the question how much? Hence, large is an adjective of quantity here. The carpenters have completed some work. Now, some is modifying the noun work. It is referring to a quantity and answering the question how much? Some work. Hence, some is an adjective of quantity. Have you got any information about his whereabouts? Any here is also modifying the noun information. It is referring to a quantity. Hence, any is an adjective of quantity. Now let us read these two sentences. Some girls wore hair bands to school today. Some food is left after the party. Now both these sentences have the word some in them. How is it used differently in both these sentences? Let us see. Now here in the sentence, some girls wore hair bands to school today. Some is modifying the noun girls and girls is a countable noun. Whereas in the second sentence, some food is left after the party. Some is modifying the noun and food is an uncountable noun. So in the first sentence, sum is an adjective of number. It is an indefinite numeral adjective because it is not answering the question how much but the question how many. How many girls? Some girls. Whereas in the second sentence, some food is left after the party. Some is an adjective of quantity. It is answering the question how much. How much food? Some food. So what is the difference between an adjective of number and an adjective of quantity? An adjective of number describes the number of nouns or pronouns or their positions or place in a certain order. Whereas an adjective of quantity describes the quantity of a noun or a pronoun. An adjective of number answers the question how many, whereas an adjective of quantity always answers the question how much. Adjective of number is always used with countable nouns, whereas adjective of quantity is used with uncountable nouns. Now let us do this exercise. Fill in the blank with the appropriate adjective of quantity. John had dash bread for his breakfast. The options given to us are some, many, two. 
Now we know that we cannot use 2 as an adjective of quantity because it is a definite number. So can we say John had many bread for his breakfast? We know that many is also used as an adjective of number. We cannot use it as an adjective of quantity. So the correct answer will be John had some bread for his breakfast. So what did we learn today? Today we have learned about the adjective of quantity, what it is and how it is used in our sentences. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.